Welcome to the Thyroid Fixer Podcast. I'm your host, Dr. Amy, and we're diving deep into the world of hormones, especially for all you fierce women in perimenopause and menopause, and everyone struggling with hypothyroidism. So if you are battling weight gain, you're feeling like shedding those pounds is an impossible feat. If you're dealing with plummeting energy levels, gut-wrenching fatigue, or a libido that seems to have left town, then you're in the right place. And let's not even start on the hair loss. If these symptoms are sounding all too familiar, you have found your tribe. My goal is to educate, empower, and shake up your world. Remember, I want you to embrace every inch of that badass woman that you truly are. So if you're ready to dive in and fix things, let's go. You want to know my number one hack for improving my focus, my brain, my energy, and my metabolism? It's jumping in my cold sure, cold plunge three, four times a week because studies show that 11 minutes of cold exposure per week improves your mood, speeds up recovery time from hard workouts, enhances your metabolism, reduces stress, and definitely you will see improvements if you're tracking your sleep or even if you're just noticing that you're sleeping better, you will see improvements in your sleep quality. Personally, I have seen just a huge, huge impact in all of those markers in my life since regularly using my culture cold plunge. So what you want to do, if you want all these benefits too, you're going to go to culture.com, C-O-L-D-T-U-R-E.com backslash Dr. Amy, D-R-A-M-I-E. That's going to save you 200 bucks. And that's a huge savings. This tub is so easy to use, easy to put together. You are going to love having it right there for you. You jump in, you do your breathing. I promise you there are benefits galore. Oh, did we even mention the brown fat? (gasps) Browning your adipose tissue. What does that do? Speeds up your metabolism as well. So go to culture.com backslash Dr. Amy and grab yours. Let me know how it goes. Let me know about all those improvements that you see. I have recommended Quicksilver Scientific products for years. So I can definitely attest to their quality, their effectiveness. And then there's Dr. Chris Shade. He is a genius when it comes to developing liposomal delivery systems that are unmatched. You cannot match his delivery method anywhere in the world. He is a groundbreaking scientist. So when we're looking at detox, specifically heavy metal detox, support of the liver, his detox protocols are amazing. The push couch liver detox is unparalleled. You don't need these lengthy, expensive detox programs. You just don't. Do the push catch, do the liposomal glutathione, throw in some GABA L-theanine to calm the nervous system, get great sleep. That's all you need. And here's the other kicker that I really love. He has a drink easy bundle. So we all know that alcohol is very, very toxic, but we're social creatures. Some of us like to go out and be social, have a beautiful glass of wine with a red steak, right? Well, with the Drink Easy Bundle, you can do that without having the hangover effect the next day, without crushing your liver. It gives total support with milk thistle, bitters, liposomal glutathione once again. So you put all these together and your body is literally set up to detox from all the harsh environmental chemicals and toxins that we are bombarded with on a daily basis. So you're going to go to quicksilverscientific.com backslash Dr. Amy and use the code Dr. Amy. That is going to give you 15% off your order. That's going to allow you to try the glutathione, the push catch, the drink easy bundle. So you're going to go to Q-U-I-C-K-S-I-L-V-E-R-S-C-I-E-N-T-I-F-I-C.com backslash D-R- A-M-I-E, and use the code D-R-A-M-I-E for 15% off. Dr. Shade, I'm so pumped to have you on. And here's the thing. I'm, I'm going to say something. I, I don't want anybody getting mad at me here, but I have always had a crush on your brain. I have been listening. To, <laughs> I, I, I mean, you are just, you're the perfect blend of 
intelligent and yet laid back. And that's why I jive with you because you're blunt as hell, just like me. We tell it (laughs) like it is. And I think that's what really resonates with people. You know, they get you and then they're, they're drawn in to listen to your information. So thank you so much for coming on. Oh, thank you. I'm glad, glad it works out. I just love doing this. And yeah, it's easy for me. Once you just let me be blunt and you can say anything you want. Well. Anything you want on this show whatsoever. Now, of course, I'm going to pick your brain about the things that you are a master on, and and that is detox. So I want to jump in. Well, first, I want to to tell the listeners, for anybody that's been living under a rock and doesn't know who you are and doesn't know your company, Quicksilver Scientific, I've been using them and recommending – I've been using your company, recommending Quicksilver for years, for decades, because – I know the man behind it. I've heard you for years. I know the research and the love and attention you put into these products. But can you just tell the listeners, how did you move into really deep diving into what people need for detox and so many other things? I mean, Quicksilver has a whole host of of products, but that's kind of your specialty. And that's what I want to really hone in on today. Yeah, no, I mean, it's kind of a long story. Everybody wants it to be a linear story, but it never is. You right. know? And I was like, I was in college and I was supposed to be this environmental scientist. And I just didn't like that, how that whole game is played. It's kind of bullshit. And, and then I had this opportunity to start an organic farm. And so I did that. And, you know, I joked that I went out of business as an organic farmer the year that Whole Foods came around, you know, it was a little too early. But I had this vision of natural health and being able to build soil ecosystems and raise people's health up. You know, I grew up like not believing in anything and, you know, really shifted during college. You know, it might have been the LSD, but something happened and there was a big shift. And uh, and I got way into this organic farming and then building health that way. And then, you know, like I said, I went out of business doing that. It was a little too early for that. I did a couple of other things. And eventually I came back around to studying agricultural pollution and got a master's degree doing that. And then I went for my PhD and I studied environmental metals as pollutants, as specifically mercury. And hence quicksilver is the old word for mercury. It means liquid silver. And I had specialized testing for that. And I wanted to bring that out, you know, looking at different forms of pollution and people. And I realized that there was no good way to get it out. I saw people using chelators, DMPS, DMSA, with mixed or very negative results on me. They had very negative results and, you know, just got me really sicker. You know, I was doing a PhD on on mercury and I had 17 amalgams in my mouth. It was so funny. These guys on my thesis committee were like, yeah, we're measuring picograms of mercury in a little shrimp, you know, but these grams of mercury up here, yeah, they must be okay. Like, what kind of cognitive dissonance lets you do that? But, you know, once I saw it, I was like, oh, I got to get this stuff out and fix the way that the body works. Because it's not, we're not in that total industrialist land where we're living, you know, under coal fire, you know, coal smoke hanging above us and, you know, there's metals all over us. We're, We're not in that hyper acute exposure. I mean, now we have more chemicals than ever and there's a big soup of it, but a lot of it's this lifestyle down regulation of detoxification Mm -hmm. and that does two things one it makes you get rid of the toxins more slowly and at a cellular level it lets the toxins go in and beat your cell up your mitochondria your membrane function all the enzymatic functions so it's making you weak and accumulate things and so i was like we got to flip this around and make us resistant to the things at a cellular level and a whole body level, make us push everything out. And so I built Quicksilver Scientific first doing testing. Then I had a specialized binder for mercury called IMD. And that fixed me from all my problems and everything that the chelators did to me. And then that it was just like the quintessential binder. And then from there, I had to go upstream and see how does the rest of the body work. So then I had to develop, you know, if you want to get mercury out, you need glutathione. You need to link glutathione onto something. And then you got to push it through the liver. And then you got to catch it with the binder and the GI. So I got up and started saying, well, how do I get glutathione in? How do I get this in? 
And that led us to these delivery systems, liposomes, nano emulsions, ways to take these things that you're putting in capsules and mostly flushing down the toilet and making sure that, boom, they get right into the blood and get all into action. All the different compounds you put in there all go in at once and all do their job. And you can really move the needle. So we were able to really get the cells and tissues to turn up their processes, kick stuff into the blood, move it to the liver, turn up the liver movement, have the binders on board, and really have a really solid detox. And then that delivery, we started applying that to cardiometabolic, cardiovascular, immunology, hormones, longevity stuff, and it all just spread from there by being able to get stuff in and understand the pathways you're working on. And really, when we're talking about mercury specifically, there's a huge connection with mercury in the thyroid. And I'm always having my patients, my listeners, you go to a biological dentist, get the amalgam fillings out. But then after they do that, now they have to detox and get the mercury that's already in their tissues. And we know that mercury crosses the blood brain barrier, right? So then that's an increased risk of Alzheimer's and and everything that comes with mercury toxicity or even just mercury exposure. So can you talk more about that connection between mercury and just heavy metals in general and the thyroid and hormones and how those are correlated and how that really screws us up? Oh, yeah. Very direct and indirect ways that the metals affect the thyroids. The three biggest ones are mercury, cadmium, and arsenic. Now, these all respond to glutathione conjugation and and the same movement out as mercury. And they're very similar to mercury, so they have similar targets too. And the number one target in the thyroid is the deiodinase that takes T4 to T3. So if you're looking at your labs and you've got mid to upper T4, but like lower T3, that's an indication of a metal poisoning or something similar that's blocking the deiodinase. And that one's very, very well studied. Mm -hmm. And so then you're going to have this peripheral low thyroid, even if the signaling's there to, to put out the T4. Then at a mitochondrial level. So, you know, when the when the thyroid's down, that's like a break on the whole mitochondrial system. And then you're just not making energy. Your metabolism is weak. You're not burning fuel. You're storing fuel. And this like, if there's like one way to characterize a longevity versus n- no wellness, it's whether you're in this cardio metabolic wellness that's burning energy and into you know burning fuel into energy or if you're in this inflamed mode that's collecting and depositing and we easily go back and forth between those and so all the health that we're doing is pushing over to this side and this side includes sirtuin activity ampk activity ampk is when we fast or exercise or do do carb restriction and we make ketones that's ampk activity sirtuins come along with ampk activity and they need nad and they rule mitochondrial function mitochondrial density they rule the burning of energy versus the accumulation and then over on this other side where you wind up inflammation then you start depositing everything and slowing down your metabolism and that's just it's it's just a survival switch from the ice ages that the only the people who could do that and like hibernate and get fat were the ones who would live through. And so now we have this cardiometabolic consequence that we easily get thrown over there. And the metals will throw us over there. They'll take us off of this, they'll block AMPK, they'll block the sirtuins, they get into the mitochondria and they soak up all the glutathione and the thyroidoxin that's supposed to protect the redox potential of the mitochondria and they damage that mitochondria. So the mitochondria are more making more free radicals than they're making ATP. And so that dual way that mercury gets right into the thyroid and slows down mitochondrial function and then gets right into the mitochondria and damages mitochondria all through the system. And so that's bringing that fatigue down to the system. Then you go up into the brain and the hormones. So in the brain, mercury is going right into the glutamate receptors 80% of all neurotransmission in the brain is the excitatory glutamate receptor, and it's glutamate going in and out. And that is what makes you on it and like vigilant and stuff. But when it's too active, it's also making you fight or flight or sympathetic autonomic dominant. The other half is GABA, which is your chill neurotransmitter. And that's 
eating, feeding, rest. It's rest, digest, repair, regenerate, detoxify is all on that side. And so all the healing goes on that, and that's the parasympathetic autonomic tone. So Mercury shifts you over to sympathetic all the time. And so you're stressing, but at the same time, it's turned down all the energy. And then you're aware of all these things you haven't done, and then you're gaining weight, and you got you know, anxiety about all that stuff. And so that's like hypothyroid syndrome where you're just weak, tired and freaking out about it. And that makes me think about some patients that I have even that, you know, we test them, we see that just like you said in the beginning, the low free T3, okay free T4, maybe an elevated reverse T3. So we start treatment, you know, let's change this up, let's reduce your T4, let's add in some T3, let's put you on NDT, whatever that that personalized plan looks like, and they're still not getting better. I mean, it really sounds like Mercury is basically a shit show for the entire body that no matter what you do, unless you address that, we can yeah. throw all the medication at you that we want. It's not going to produce the ultimate result or you could still have the brain issues, the fatigue, the weight gain, it outside of being on the proper thyroid hormone replacement. Am yeah, I saying as that right? Long as you've been hyper. Yeah, it, absolutely. Once the toxins are in there, you can't, you know, it's like a wrench in the gears. You can't just put more gas on the motor and hope the gears are going to turn. You know, the whole thing may break. And as long as you've been hypothyroid, you've been in this inflammatory, low energy, low mitochondrial state, you've been accumulating toxins. And it's not until we get rid of them can everything work well. Yeah. This is no, slightly different, but I just uh, worked on a, a Lyme case and this guy had had every antibiotic and everything thrown at him. And then we brought all these new things at him, you know, making sure we're really eradicating all this. And and he had this dizziness where he couldn't work and he was a farmer. He's used to working all the time. And, you know, a lot of the other things went away, but he couldn't walk, you know, and and so I like. You know, I kept him going a little bit longer on these cryptolepis and all these herbs that really knocked that off. And I'm like, okay, now we got to detox you and see how we come out from this. And put him on our advanced push catch, which is my favorite, like one month box. He got a week in. He doubled the, and I said, you're going to want to double the dose. He doubled the dose himself. Ten days later, my assistant talked to him. He said, I haven't felt this good as long as I can remember. Awesome. You know, and it was, so it was like you killed the bugs, but all the toxins are there. And there are neurotoxins, you know, we got to take those out. So you turn up the thyroid, but the thyrotoxins are in there and you got to get those out before you really do that. Hey, hormones the same way, you know, hormones, you got all these toxins, these plasticizers, pesticides, herbicides that are endocrine disrupting compounds. And they go in and they occupy hormone receptors and you can put all the hormones in, but if you got the bad guys in the receptors, nothing's going to work. Or if you got bad guys, I mean, they're either occupying receptors and you can't get a hormone in or they're overactivating them. And you're like, ah, why am I so estrogenic? Why am I estrogen's low. You got to go in and clean that stuff out. And then your hormones can go in and really sing. And, you know, they're always going to be going sideways when they're on a high toxic load. And so it's really, a, I mean, that was like a naturopathic fundamental principle is detoxification. And I believe it wholeheartedly. Now, would you do that before anyone started on thyroid hormone replacement or hormones no, really at the same, same time. time? Yeah, I do at the same time because your yeah. thyroid hormone replacement, you're going to have to titrate that up. Mm -hmm. And so you're taking stuff out and sometimes you're putting it in. And sometimes if you don't have the energy to turn over the mitochondria and bring the thyroid up, you don't have the energy to push stuff out. So people uh, get very stuck into a binary uh, thought of, well, I'm going to fix this before I do that. The worst of them all is I'm going to fix the gut before I get any toxins out. Now, fixing the gut might be the most singular important thing that you do. But if the gut's fucked up because of the toxins, you know, you're not going to fix it. You know, right. you, you put a bunch of collagen and marshmallow root in there and, you know, some amino acids and probiotics, you know, you got to take the stuff out. So it's, you got to do it at the same time. And even when you're treating something like Lyme, you got to be pulling stuff out at the same time you're going in and killing. And you're always doing that dance to find, you know, the right ratio of the two. But I, I really think detox while bringing on thyroid is just like, it's, it's a no brainer. That's how you do it. Okay. So we're, we're basically in a world of toxins. Is it possible to get to a place where we can be like rid of that bombardment of toxins that we can actually uh -huh. detox from the mercury, the heavy metals that are affecting our thyroid? Or are we just going to be more exposed every time we walk outside and breathe air? 
you're going to be exposed all the time. But what you're going to do is you're going to free the system. It's been like conditioned not to work. And, you know, your cells are in fight or flight. They're like, ah, we just got to stay alive. And you got to condition them that, no, we got to take the time we, and we got to drop this stuff off all the time, get rid of it all the time. Now, these things are happening on two levels. When you upregulate detoxification, there's a cellular trigger called NRF2, and it turns up the antioxidants and detox compounds in the cell, and it makes the cell immune to the toxins around it. And it'll push them out into the matrix around it. Now that's gonna make its way over to the liver, and you gotta turn up liver processes to move that out, and kidney processes to move that out, and you need some binders. You know, when you detox, you're gonna do that whole scale, do all that stuff all at once, like our advanced push catch. You'd be doing that twice a day, and you'd do it, you know, two months, maybe three, like a formal detox. And then you're going to integrate this stuff in your life. Things like bitters. I mean, this is my favorite everyday detox. You know, we have bitters nine and bitters X. Even if you're putting cocktail bitters, you know, into your soda water, you're opening up liver and getting bile drainage to move out of liver. Now, what's that significant to us? Bile drainage paths move the toxins. If you're not moving bile, that's called cholestasis. You're not moving any toxins. And then what happens is they build up in their liver and then you spit them back into the blood and they go all around through the body and they land in places where it's inflamed. So if you already have inflammation in your thyroid, you're going to land more toxins in there. So it's important to always open that up and always dump it. And then binders are like such an easy thing, especially like capsules of our binders, taking those at night take it a few hours after the meal, maybe in the morning. It, there's so many ways to do it and integrate this stuff, you know, or push catch liver detox, having that around and doing a couple rounds on the weekend. Me, I take liver, kidney, maybe some glutathione, hop in my sauna, 30 minutes later, take my binder. And that's just like, I'm just like a new man after that. And I do that a lot, you know, you integrate it into your life. When do I take this stuff? Just get it into your life and you will always be dumping stuff out and you won't be sitting around like, you know, afraid of the, you know, next thing that moves thinking you're going to get toxic from it. Right. That's so true. I mean, I think that's important to remember that people can do ongoing detox as well, but tell me, well, tell, I know about the push catch system, but tell the listeners more about how much is involved because whenever people hear the word detox, they think they're just going to poop every day. They're going to poop all yep. day. Yeah. Oh uh, yeah. Uh, so many people are giving that push catch liver detox and, you know, like two months later, three months later, they haven't done it. I'm like, what? Well, you know, I'm kind of waiting, you know, when I have vacation, yep. you know, I have a couple of days off and then I could be at home, like right next to my bathroom. Right. Right. No, no, no. The whole laxative detox thing that does clear your bowel. And that's one of the ways people do stuff. And ours has nothing to do that. You know, that's when you don't really know any biochemistry of detox. Just make them shit all day and, you know, something <laughs> will happen. Right. But this isn't how that happens. In fact, you might have to, you know, with the binders, you know, you might have to take extra magnesium to make sure you're going enough. And in fact, you know, when you get diarrhea, you just take lots of those binders and it clears it all out. So what's involved in it? This push catch liver detox, real simple. One part is a liquid called liver sauce. And uh, you take a teaspoon of that, hold it in your mouth, and that's got a bunch of compounds in it. It's got some whole plant extracts and pure compounds, and that activates detox at a cellular tissue level. It activates liver movement. It activates the movement of the toxins out with the bile. So that gets the whole thing flushed and down to the GI, cell to blood, blood to liver, liver to bile, bile to GI. And then you come in a half hour later with the binder. Now the binder is this black powder. You shake it up in a little shaker with water and it is black water, has zero taste. Drink it down. Or if you're doing the capsules, you just take them and that'll bind up all the toxins that went down there, you know, and maybe a little bit before you take those binders, you might feel a little funny. And then you take the binders and you're like, oh, wow, I feel great. And so you do that, wake up in the morning, take the liquid, half hour later, take the binder. If you're adding on kidney and glutathione and phosphatidylcholine, all the good stuff to really deepen it up, take those all at the same time as, as your liver sauce. Mm -hmm. Again, half hour later, take your binder. What do you do in between? Light walk, some yoga, sauna is my thing, foot bath, do some work, whatever you want to do. You can drink coffee, you can drink tea. And it's really easy and it's so powerful. And then you should do that a second time during the day. And, you know, you do that for a couple of weeks to a few months, you're going to clear so much out and you're going to feel so much better. You're not going to go through these, oh, I feel like crap.
I'm checking in with you. How's your energy these days? How's your skin? How's your muscle strength? These are things that are very, very important to me. And I know just from research that after the age of 30, our mitochondria starts breaking down. And these are the powerhouses of the cell that provide us with muscle strength and better skin and abundant energy through the day. So I've added in something that I wanted to share with you, Timeline Nutrition's MitoPure. So when we look into research and healthy aging, it really focuses on that pivotal role that our mitochondria plays in our body. And without our mitochondria working at top notch, then health is just declining. And that's not what we want. Daily wear and tear on our mitochondria is inescapable, but we can do something about it now. Timeline Nutrition's MitoPure is the first supplement that has been clinically shown to replace and rebuild damaged mitochondria. And this results in a boost in cellular energy. And actually, research has shown that individuals experience an increase in muscle strength and endurance without even altering their diet and exercise routine. So, I mean, I can personally attest to feeling the difference. I am now going to ask you to feel the difference. So I invite you to go to TimelineNutrition.com. They're giving my community 10% off of MitoPure if you use the code Dr. Amy. So you are going to go to TimelineNutrition.com backslash Dr. Amy and use the code Dr. Amy, D-R-A-M-I-E. So TimelineNutrition.com backslash D-R-A-M-I-E and use the code Dr. Amy at checkout. Remember the Cutler Protocol for DMSA and lipoic acid. For 52 rounds, that's a year, you're going to feel worse. Oh, so good. Yeah, after the first year, you're going to start to feel the same as before you started. And then eventually you're going to transition into better. And like all these people were like freaking zealots about that because this guy cultivated really dysfunctional people that had father like abuse issues. And I mean, this really is how this all worked. You know, if you ever dissented in this crowd, you were immediately excommunicated and just excoriated. And yeah, you know, it was like the verbal stuff was horrible. In fact, and I was like their main, I was like a totally different system. They actually labeled me a murderer. Nice. Congratulations yeah, on murderer. that. Yeah. Okay. Christopher Shade, PhD, MDR. MDR for murder. <laughs> right. And they wouldn't go to one conference because I went there. Now, why do they hate me? Because in three months, you felt freaking great. You know? right. And it's simple. <laughs> and it's simple, too. I three mean... months, you felt great. And it used your own system. You didn't have to use the key letters. You know? Right. Right. I exactly. I mean, his system was coherent, but it wasn't the best way to go. I have known some people to do that and oh man, were they sick. I mean, it brought up a whole host of other symptoms that they didn't even know would pop up. They were trying oh, to yeah. deal with they this set to over here. Yeah. On every three hour schedule. And if you if anything went wrong, it was because you didn't hold the schedule. You were you were 10 minutes off. That's how you why you have a brain aneurysm, you know. Right. <laughs> right. Exactly. I'm like, really? Yeah, great. If you believe that one. No, this is so simple. And, 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 you know, even outside of the DMSO, I've seen liver protocols, liver detoxes that involve 10 different products. And like you said, you, listen, you can add in glutathione if you want. You can add in kidney. You can add in phosphatidylcholine. But you don't have to. If you just wanted to do the push catch system, you could yeah. just do that. You're just going to get a benefit. But these other protocols that are 10 supplements long, I mean, people just end up getting tired, brain fatigued, sick of yeah. taking things. It's just not- All those Herxheimer reactions and stuff are not lining it all up and not going out. It's going around, it's making its way to your brain. It's supposed to be making its way to the liver and you're pooping it out, you're pissing it out. As long as everything's going down and out, you're golden. You're not going to have problems. You know, you might have a day or two where it's like a little bit of an overload, but it's not this constant- you know, and you get past that and you're, God, I feel good. I mean, I've had girls come here, you know, so many people come work here and soon they're doing triple push catches, you know, like three teaspoons of liver sauce and like double thing of binder twice a day. And like, I feel great because that's, that's what happens because these paths you're hitting. NRF2 is a cleanup, but AMPK comes right there with it. So many of these compounds do both and AMPK just tunes your energy up and starts you it lowers 
increases insulin sensitivity, lowers resistance, increases glucose transporters, increases ketone formation. All these things are bringing more energy to your brain and you're burning and you're just like, this is freaking great. Mm -hmm. Well, on that note too, the insulin resistance, oh my God, I mean, 95% of my people have insulin resistance because it goes hand in hand with hypothyroidism. And so many of them will say, but I'm eating right. And so you're really hitting two birds with one stone. I mean, a, a bunch of the really good cases that I did, uh, you know, one for Dale Bredesen, he's the famous Alzheimer's researcher. He brought this guy, he'd done the whole Bredesen protocol the way it used to be, which is put more stuff in. You, your brain doesn't work because you don't have enough oils, you don't have enough of this, and you need some more carnitine and into Jack. And somebody suggested he measured his mercury. His mercury was off the chart. Mm. So I didn't even know who Dale was. And somebody set up a consult. So I was on with this guy and Dale. And Dale says, all right, here's what he got. And he's got all the early onset Alzheimer's, racing mind, anxiety, and metabolic disease. Mm -hmm. And fatty liver. Yep. And we put him on the detox. A couple of months through that, I brought him back to Dale. Boom. All the neurological stuff was gone. And so was the fatty liver and the metabolic disease. They go hand in hand. You're hitting the same triggers. That's why this system hits all that and you feel so damn good. I love it. I love it. Okay, I'm, I'm going to pull the push catch over here into, we're going to talk alcohol. The other thing I love about you is that you don't stand on a pedestal and say, you don't drink, don't have sex, don't eat too much, caloric restrict, live a miserable life and you'll be okay. You'll live to 500. Like I'm you're, not <laughs> no, I'm not either. I live my life. But what I love is that you have developed a way for us to still have our drinks and have our cocktails, but not toxify ourselves. So can you start off by, let's talk about alcohol, because I think a lot of people don't even realize that it is a toxin and a poison. And then what's the answer for it? So we don't do the damage that it does if we're not using something in conjunction. Yeah, I know. I mean, Alcohol, look, it's our longest lived, most loved drug as humans. You know, it's like all that old sort of waxing poetic uh, about it. And it's warming your spirit and making you ebullient and effervescent. Like that's, that's all true. You know, it's a, it's the social lubricant social. and it's a lot yeah. of fun. And, and then it has all these other problems, but it is a toxin and hence the hangover and all that. And so we want to turn up our body's ability to process it out so you're not feeling it the next day. And actually, so you get more sober towards, you're not going to bed all drunk, you know, mm -hmm. it's like it both clears you up and it gets you through the next day. And so the ones that go in that drinkers batch are a, a nano milk thistle, a B complex, and a bitters. And so the milk this, so it's funny, I, I made, made this to save my own ass after going to Tokyo. And I was on this long trip. I was in Australia. I was in all these, I lectured all over Australia. I went to Hong Kong. Then I went to Tokyo, finished like this long run of, of lecturing. And then these guys took me to this expat district called Rapongi. And it was like, Oh my God, there was just so much drinking that night. It was just insane. And I had like a seven day hangover and I just wasn't getting rid of this. No amount of glutathione or anything did it. And I went into my R and D place and I'm like, where are we had samples of all kinds of stuff. And I'm like, Oh, there's some milk thistle, you know, pure silicone that these guys sent me. They wanted me to work on some product for them. And I, you know, I'd take it to capsules of it and never really did anything. And I put it in this nanoparticle in like 30 minutes, I was better. And from then on, I was able to drink brown alcohols. I could never drink brown alcohols before. You know, they would just crush me. But now, you know, Japanese whiskey, bourbon, rye, all that stuff. So milk thistle turns up a number of different enzymes to break down the alcohol. And there's a number of steps alcohol needs to be broken down in, or it builds up as these things like acetaldehyde, which is like a formaldehyde. It's like a balming fluid. That's why right. if you drink way too much, you feel like you've been embalmed, you know, you're dead and you're in a viewing casket. And so it breaks all that stuff and makes sure that, you know, it's going all the way out to these products that you excrete very easily. So you having that beforehand, the B complex, a lot of these enzymes have cofactors that help the enzymes break everything down. Chief to that is B1 as a cofactor to alcohol dehydrogenase. And then remember the bitters, it's the 
movement of the bile that's stimulated by the bitters, touching bitter receptors in your mouth and throughout the body that get that liver to move the toxins out. So you're feeding the enzymes, you have the cofactors for the enzymes, and you're fluidizing the liver and moving everything out with the, with, uh, with the bile. Like when I get an old fashioned, it's half sweet, triple, triple bitter. You order it like that, they won't put so much sugar in there, and they'll put a bunch, you know, six or eight dashes of Angostura. You'll it'll be darker, it'll taste better, and it'll go through easier. So that's our alcohol, you know, it's a protection bundle, so you can go out and have those things. And you'll see, man, people are just blown away. These people are like, I can only have one drink, and then I'm a mess. Right. And they're like, I feel great. I can't believe it. So we're going to still use the push catch with this, right? Like, how are yeah, we going to plan this, this out? Like, right? we got when a we go out. drink, we're going to use our, our alcohol mitigation thing. This is the funny thing. You know, we always have internal names for these, like R&D names. We don't always use them because you know what the internal name for that bundle was? The enabler. <laughs> I love that, though. You know, buddy, we should market it like that. Right, and inside, everybody's, you know, we'll have a party. It was just my birthday. There's a big party over there. Everybody's like, where's the enabler? And, you know, it'll be out, there'll be like two stations with all the bottles. And, mm -hmm. But then okay. the push catch is, you know, I'm doing that sort of like after the damage, you know, okay. keeping everything moving, really good, doing a thorough detox. And, you know, and you can throw binders in before you go to bed and stuff. There's all these different ways to sort of mix it up. But that really, you know, liver sauce, that binder, I do that more, you know, morning, afternoon. And then at night, I just use those three products. So will you just take them with you to like yeah. a party or oh, dinner yeah. and just they're like out on the they're out on the table all the time and the waitress is like what are you doing the bartender's like you make your own bitters it's like everybody loves it you know it's like I've given away so many bottles to restaurant people yeah you're saving the day that's why yeah there and people are gonna buy more at the yep. buy more alcohol at the restaurant if you can keep yep. them oh you know, yeah there. yeah exactly I love it I love it. All right, so I want to move into hormones because you also are diving into this world. I mean, hormones give us life. I am a huge bioidentical hormone oh. proponent. I take it, I give it, we prescribe it, the whole deal. Yeah. But now you're making it easier for people to use it because you can get very potent hormones over the counter now. So talk to me about that whole, that whole process, what got you into it and about the products too. Yeah, you know, I've loved hormone stuff for a long time. I started working on hormones in 2014, and I I was learning some stuff from a guy named Mark Gordon, and then uh, he suggested I, you know, try to figure out testosterone and a liposome. And no, I looked all through the literature; nobody had been able to do it. And then I started, you know, rethinking how I make these particles, and I had this aha moment, flipped kind of upside down how you would normally do something, and then boom. I had testosterone in this sublingual nanoparticle. Now I can't sell testosterone. And so uh, I know it's so freaking good. So I'm licensing that to the compounding pharmacies and for women, men, just different doses. But then all these other ones, you know, DHEA, pregnenolone, you know, I started working with them. And then I was like, well, how can I actually sell some of this stuff? And it turns out cosmetic laws allow you to use progesterone, estriol, and estradiol, uh, and estrone if you wanted it, up to certain levels in topical creams. And usually, you know, they're, they're thought of as like beauty aids, but, you know, so you can do these creams and put it on topically for beauty. But if you make these things right, like a nano serum, stuff, there's enough to go all the way in and really help you, you know, with your systemic levels. And so it, we were able to solve everything. Our androgen source for women, you drive the DHEA in, in the nanoparticles with dim and chrysin and some adaptogens, and all goes into androgen. So you have super physiologic DHEA, you'll have testosterone at or above reference ranges, like top of the reference range. Mm -hmm. And you'll have, you know, androstenedione and a couple other, all at high levels, and you're not making any estrogen. So then you can control the estrogen with the topicals. Right. So when you're young, younger, you know, 35, 40, you might want that, that androgen push. Maybe you want some progesterone. Maybe you don't need any estrogens. As you're moving more towards perimenopause, you start layering 
S trial, lots of S trial. S trial doesn't have any of the worries around proliferation, around breast issues, but it's the it's preferential for the receptor that's in the urinary tract and the vaginal tract, the whole pelvic floor. And so those chronic UTIs start going away because you rebuild that lining in there. Uh, vaginal dryness goes away. When they talk about vaginal atrophy, people always talk about dryness like that's it. But it's really thinning of the walls, thinning of the musculature, you know, softening of the, you know, the whole vulval area is kind of loosening up. And so this just tightens it. And they're actually vulval topicals and they're pH adjusted. You know, if they got in there, it's good. It's it's meant to go that way, but we sell them as topicals. So it's vulva and facial topical. And estriol can be used on the face too. In fact, I use it. It's really good for thickening and and plumping and thinning out those lines. Mm -hmm. And then as you get closer into menopause and you add estradiol, maybe as a biased or the pure estradiol as, you know, the flashing starts happening and then you quench that. And so, you know, as you're moving through time, you know, it's basically DHEA first, pregnenolone, maybe with it, then estriol is added in, then the diol comes in. And, you know, you can titrate these things up from small doses to high doses, really individuated for you. And, you know, we've had lots, even before we released this stuff, I got all these 50 somethings that work for me and they all switched over either from nothing or from their bioidenticals onto this. You know, they all been on it three years and swear by it. Well, I was going to ask you if someone's already on, let's say, a a BHRT protocol, can they just add the estriol for for the face plumping and for just the vaginal application and rejuvenation? I mean, that one, because... Let me tell you, you know, like we have this whole thing, we have this new product coming, the facial beauty, vaginal beauty, talking about vaginological age, you Mm -hmm. know, it's like your, you know, it's like your methylation age, your biological age versus your chronological, that estriol topically for a while just pulls it backward. I mean, it's crazy and the women are all like, I can't believe how young that is. It really does it. So you can add those things in topically and stay on your BHRT or you can transition over to this instead of your BHRT, your compounded B. This is BHRT. It's just not compounded. So you can do it any of the different ways. Okay. But All you're right. Up, you're up. I mean, this completely does the whole package. That's crazy. Okay. So the big question I know that will, that I'll be asked if I don't ask it now, are you able to sell the same potency as what we would get at the compounding pharmacy? Or how does a woman figure out, okay, I want to transition from this yeah. 0.05 patch to using your yeah. stuff. Yeah. We have an online learning management system that where you can train in our system. We would give some approximations to jump across mm-hmm. and, you know, you're, you're going to make your estimation and say, okay, I'm going to go over there and I'm going to do, you know, one pump a day of estradiol, you know, to match my patch here. Yeah. And, and you're just going to try it then and see where are we, where are my symptoms? Uh, have I started flash? Well, maybe I need to. Am I, you know, have too much fluid coming out and maybe some anxiousness? Maybe I need a little bit less. And, you know, it's all symptom based in the end, anyways, because you can do urinary levels or serum levels, but, you know, how that all plays out in the body is a combination of the hormone levels and the receptor density. And so you have to look at what levels make these people happy and make them sing. But we have approximations to jump across. And, you know, 80% of the people, you just tell me your age, you know, when you last cycled, and I'll give you a protocol, and it'll work for 80% of the people. Mm -hmm. And the other 20, you got to go in and tune up a little bit. Now, we have to have progesterone on top of this, right? Oh, yeah, we have have a lot. So we do. We use a ton of the progesterone, and that one sells the most. People love it. And you know, and, and that's always the question, am I getting enough progesterone? So when you're taking a tablet, and you're taking 100 milligrams, that's got 9% bioavailability. So you're taking nine milligrams. When you're doing with us 12 to 16 milligrams topical, there's no doubt we're getting nine of that in. The delivery is really, really good. So people just got to get used to the fact that their topical dose is somewhere between eight and 16, maybe 20 milligrams at, at the most, you know, maybe twice a day. Some people need more, some people need less. And people are like, well, why don't you make it so it's 100 milligrams or 200 milligrams like this cream is? I'm like, when you look at a cream, this is why they're big into micronized. It's ground up hormone in a cream base 
And if you put it in a microscope, you see ground up hormone in a cream base. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's chunks of hormone in a cream base and a little layer of dissolved stuff on the outside of the chunk. So when you roll, rub it on, the cream base goes in and you got little chunks of hormone all over here. That's why transference is a big deal. Yep. And that's why the amount of milligrams you're putting on seems like a lot. I'm doing 80 milligrams. Blah, blah. It's like, well, I can put more in, but it's not going to be dissolved. It's just going to sit on the outside. You know, it, it's a different approach with the nano serum. The numbers are different, but we give you like, here's the range that people use and they thrive on these ranges. And you can feel the difference. I mean, you know, when oh, you're yeah. taking the right amount because. Oh especially yeah. Progesterone. Especially the progesterone. And I do that for sleep. Guys do great on like one pump at night for sleep. And you put it on. I remember the first time, you know, we made it and I put it on a bunch of people and they're like, whoa, did you put weed in there? You know, cause we're in Colorado. Cause it was just like, whoa. So yeah. Good. I was going to ask you about guys too, if we can yeah. like, you know, start massaging our, our, our significant other's neck and throw some progesterone on there to chill them out. That's cool. Oh my God. You know, that's what it was. So yesterday we had this speaker and, and, you know, I don't know, somehow hormones came up and I said, yeah, my ex-wife used to tell me when I was being an asshole, take some progesterone, rub some progesterone on it. It would chill me out every time. Lo and behold, she's with one of my other distributors and another friend in, in Florida watching it and <laughs> calls me <laughs> afterwards. <laughs> but that is it. I mean, it is the chill pill for the guys. It is the CBD of hormones. And for guys who don't sleep well, it's amazing. And there was a, Michael Pratt had a whole book about, S, about adrenaline dominance Hmm. And when you're just like jacked and jacked and he called that adrenaline dominance and the cure for it was topical progesterone. It really calms you down and, uh, you know, you feel it right away. And then you were talking about rubbing it in the neck. It's great in the neck all around here. But whenever there's pain, if there's like a jacked vertebrae or a muscle, rub it in there. It'll take pain down so fast. The thyroid's wound up, rub it in there. It calms down the thyroid. You know, somewhere in your back, just, it's amazing what it does. It's like, it does everything. Oh, I love that. I'm going to have to try that now. I'm going to try that on, on, on my husband too. Chill him out. Yep. So. Chill <laughs> him awesome. out, you know, he'll be all sweet. I love it. So, well, speaking of chill, last question I have for you, and, and this is kind of tying everything together. GABA, I know that you, you mentioned GABA in the beginning, and that also helps calm us. So many of my people have trouble sleeping, even with the progesterone on top of it, even with magnesium. So what can we do to get them sleeping? Because then we have, again, heavy metal toxicity, their thyroid's jacked up, their hormones are out of whack, their liver isn't processing things. What can we do to get them to chill and sleep? Yeah. And so, you know, in the brain, that GABA glutamate thing, estrogen goes with the glutamate and so do the toxins. And so that winds them up. And then progesterone works with the GABA system and makes the GABA receptors more receptive. Now, if that's not enough, then you can feed in a liposomal GABA, L-theanine, CBD helps. We have uh, our CBD Synergies AX has CBD and GABA. Lipocom, oh my God, that one is so good. That's Pharma GABA with Skullcap and Passion Flower. So there's a bunch of tools over there. You're working on the GABA receptors with GABA, CBD, progesterone, 5-HTP, melatonin can help. Our SP has 5-HTP and melatonin. So you just have those tools for over there and then strip the toxins away so they're not irritating that. Mm-hmm. And just stack it all together. I mean, if you do yeah. all of this, your quality of life is going to improve. Oh, yeah. Bottom no line. Doubt. Bottom no line. Doubt. And, you know, our CBD, yeah. So you got our CBD Synergies SP, SP for sleep. That's got the melatonin. The CBD Synergies AX is more of a daytime, but it'll work to calm at night. You know, Lipocalm, GABA, L-theanine, all those different products along with your progesterone. You'll find the one that works for you. And they always, you know, improve your sleep scores. Absolutely. And sleep is, is at the top of the list for everything. Detox and sleep. If we yeah. put those two at the top, people's lives will get better and everything they're doing will actually work and they'll get some bang yeah. for their buck for the efforts. So yeah. yeah. Well, Dr. Shea, this has been awesome. I have wanted to pick your brain forever. I mean, I, I just appreciate your time so much and your knowledge and really giving people something that they can do that is easy. And that's the biggest thing. You know, we hear so many experts out there with these huge protocols. This is simple. You just laid it out very simply for people yeah. to implement into their life. And it freaking works.
I know it just works. Boom. So that's what we want. <laughs> that's what we want. So we'll put all the links for everything that Dr. Shade and I talked about into the show notes. If you guys are interested, I have used all of the products. Like I said, I've been using them for years now. So I'm familiar with how they work, but I want to be expert on tell you all how they work and what you can do to improve your body, improve your life. So thank you again, Dr. Shade, for your time. Oh, you're welcome. Thank you.